Hello guys and welcome to Shanoi's art channel. Today I'll be teaching you a basic acrylic painting. A basic acrylic portrait painting of the white-headed eagle. So in this painting you will be needing some masking tape and a canvas. The basic needs. So you will have to apply the canvas all over the canvas, the sides and uh, you will need to paint the background with black um, then you need to have a soft pastel set you can use pencil or any other uh, medium or something but I'm using soft pastel in this secret technique soft pastel is really brittle so be gentle while handling it um, soft pastel is used for your basic portraiture to draw the basic shapes the triangle the circle and the normal shapes of the portraiture um, you can use any type of uh, uh, drawing technique that you are uh, into uh, but I'm be using my method in this video so um, then we will we'll be needing some of the spray right here so the spray actually helps you to make your painting more fluid and uh, like oil paints uh, by not letting it dry really quick for helping it to blend uh, the colors basically you have to blend this uh, black area with the white area I know you can uh, blend in the pa paint but blending on the canvas makes a big difference by uh, giving the realistic look to the painting so here I'll uh, show you an example mm, right here there's a white uh, highlight that's put on the beak of the eagle so the highlight will remain white if you do not apply the water or just uh, let it be there and uh, it will look odd uh, when you look at look from far so you'll have to apply some water and you'll have to blend it right there in the beak and uh, you can see the eyes how it's glowing the effect the uh, uh, 3d you know kind of popping out so that effect can be achieved through basic painting techniques which i'll be showing you in the tutorial right now so in this painting uh, we'll be needing some colors um, you can use any acrylic colors of your choice but I'm using camel uh, acrylic artist colors so the colors uh, required in the painting are titanium white burnt umber burnt sienna yellow ochre permanent yellow medium raw umber and uh, unbleached titanium and a black you can use any black of your sort mask black or anything but I'll be using the normal black got. so you'll be needing some brushes you'll be needing a 10 inch flat brush for the border and the background you'll be needing some of the size 5 uh, flat brush for the um, uh, head part the other areas for uh, just pushing the colors and uh, we're needing the size two different uh, flat brushes for minor details in the uh, eye area and uh, the size two flat brush for mainly for the eye and beak area for the detailing and other stuff so can beginners paint this I suggest you to um, try basic pencil portraits first if you want me to do a pencil port uh, portrait uh, tutorial then comment down to below comment down your favorite brand of acrylic color colors also so let's Yes. 
so firstly we'll be using the masking tape to cover the entire canvas and then we'll have to place the paint over the um, canvas Now uh, we'll be using the black acrylic paint to cover the entire canvas as a background for your portrait. So basically the black background allows you to um, get a better perspective and uh, to draw more easily using pastel and you can easily uh, paint. Now I'll be allowing it to dry for a while so that I can easily uh, draw using the pastel or else it'll stick over the, the black paint will stick over the pastel. Here I'm uh, drawing some basic shapes uh, to actually uh, use the idea of 
a eagle shaped uh, place to paint the painting um i'll be using some uh pastels right here and um you can see that the painting is not yet ready but it will come out uh, really good when you see the final result so stick to the end of the video uh, till then enjoy the video Here yeah, I took some uh, white uh, paint to actually uh, paint the feathers and uh, the head part is basically white first layer and then we'll add more layers according to the uh, detail, the amount of detail we need in the painting. Uh, for now you'll just need to focus on the white area of the head and just draw, draw the basic uh, shape that I'm showing you right there. Um, so you'll need to make it in a kind of u-shape pattern and keep uh, you keep painting it in the same way the whole part of the head and you'll get a hang of the painting Here yeah, I'm just uh, blending the colors, the white color and merging it with the background color so that it looks a bit uh, like the head and uh, if you want you can do it in the first layer or you can do it in the second layer but I prefer to do it in the first layer because it actually brings out the elements real quick and you can work on the uh, next elements really easily.
Here I took some burnt umber, burnt sienna and lemon yellow and applying the combinations and uh, mixing and matching the colors we get the following output. So basically you need to blend a little bit of the burnt sienna with the lemon yellow and then a little bit of burnt amber so that will give us a dark complexion where you can apply it to the dark areas and then for uh, the light areas just add a little bit of titanium white to the uh, mixture and then um, you'll get a little lighter color so after that you have to apply it on the big area which is the uh, main part of the painting so we after applying the colors you can get a real uh, amazing uh, finish almost like a, a beak at the final output So now for the eye area, we'll be needing some uh, raw umber and a little bit of unbleached uh, titanium for the lighter part of the eye. So here I'm using the unbleached titanium to actually fill up the eye with uh, highlights and then uh, going on to the dark area using some raw umber and a bit of uh, burnt umber to actually get the darkness in the painting. And in the middle I'm using the normal black to actually fill the pupil and using some white for the highlight of the eye and uh, if you want you can add some more layers uh, where I've already added here you can see in the uh, future um, here and uh, you'll have to work on the details to actually bring out the painting really great
Now for the shadow part of the feathers, I'll be using some uh, black along with uh, some uh, amounts of burnt umber and a little bit of titanium white which will allow me to actually grey down the feathers and give it a more natural look. Here yeah, I'm laying down some basic uh, shapes for the feather and uh, it's kind of like a V shape uh, with the help of titanium white and uh, various other shapes to actually uh, get the outline of the uh, eagle shaped uh, feathers and then on top of that I'll add some layer of uh, burnt umber and uh, a little bit of highlights of uh, titanium whites and then also black in the middle for more distinctive uh, shadows and uh, better uh, 3D effect.
guys like the painting and now it's time for the moment of truth Thank you guys for your patience and for watching the video and for more tutorials subscribe to my channel and hit the like button share it with others and suggest which tutorial do you want next in the comment box down below